everyone. I hope you are enjoying the end of 2018 and welcome to the seventh day of Bookmas. And today I want to talk about my favorite audiobooks of 2018. So these aren't necessarily ones that were published this year, but these are the top audiobooks that I listened to in 2018. And I will talk about seven of them since it's the seventh day of Bookmas. And I'm going to rate these in reverse order. So I'm going to start with my seventh and then go to my top favorite audiobook. And I obviously, if you ha have listened to any of my reviews, I listen to a lot of audiobooks. So I did narrow this down from I probably listened to at least 20 audiobooks this year. So I have narrowed these down to just my favorites. And I will tell you both, I will also tell you the narrators of each of these. So if you were interested in finding these exact versions of the audiobooks, you can find them with these narrators I enjoyed and I will write all this down in the description so that you will find you don't have to like memorize all these names. So number seven I read towards the beginning of 2018 and it was Fairest by Marissa Meyer. And Fairest is a prequel to the like Lunar Chronicles series. I think you're supposed to read it though between the third and the fourth book. So between Cress and Winter because it's a backstory on the Queen Lavana and kind of how she became the evil villain that she is. And this book is narrated by Rebecca Soler. And I gave the book slash audiobook four stars. And pretty much all the Lunar Chronicles series I listened to on audiobook. Actually, I did listen to all of them on audiobook and they're all narrated by Rebecca Soler. And I just think that she did an excellent job with these. She has one of those voices that's easy to listen to. And she also was able to do different voices for the characters without the male voices being annoying. Like I just kind of, that was what those characters sounded like. And I enjoyed it and I liked the, the continuity of listening to her narrate all of them. The reason I put Ferris on this list is because in 2018 I actually only listened to Ferris, Winter, and Stars Above because I listened to the previous ones, you know, 2017. And of those three, Ferris was my favorite. I know that's probably an unpopular opinion. A lot of people prefer um, the regular stories to the prequel, but I just really like a villain backstory, not so that I can sympathize with the villain, but I like to like kind of hear what made them who they are. Like how did this person become so evil and so crazy? So I really think that it adds to the storyline. And in terms of audiobook, I would w listen to other things Rebecca Soler narrates. And in fact, there's one later on in this list towards my favorites that is also narrated by her. And then number six is The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy by Douglas Adams. And this is a kind of comedy sci-fi classic. So um, it's very hard to describe this book, but it is about a man on earth who basically one day his friend is like, we have to get off earth. It's about to be like destroyed because they want to put a super highway through the universe right through earth and so his friend basically tells him they're gonna start hitchhiking and so they do they hitchhike onto a spaceship and end up doing escapades around the galaxy and it's just quirky and weird um, you can't expect there to be much rhyme or reason with this book but just go with the flow and I think it is hilarious and I think I read this book about 10 years ago the first time and I did enjoy it but I think that the audiobook actually adds to it because it's narrated by Stephen Fry and he does an excellent job. His voice is amazing and he does that perfect blend of the comedy in this that it's kind of like this dry British kind of humor that just <laughs> makes it hilarious. I love it. I've only listened to the first one in the series but I might continue if they're all narrated by Stephen Fry. Number five is These Broken Stars by Amy Kaufman and Megan Spooner. And this is the beginning of a trilogy called the Starbound Trilogy. And it is a kind of a romance sci-fi, I would call it. Because even though it is a, a science fiction novel, it takes place on a different planet, it is very heavy on the romance. So if you don't like romance, you probably wouldn't like it. And it is about two characters that start off in kind of like a hate relationship. She is the like... 
I don't even know what he's called. He, she's the daughter of like a guy who's in charge of this big corporation that kind of runs a lot of the big ships in space. And so she's kind of like royalty or, you know, whatever, socialite. And he is a soldier. And they end up stranded on a planet alone together and have to survive and have to figure out how to get along. So it has the great like hate to love trope, which I love. And it's fun discovering the world. And this is narrated by three different voices. So they have a voice for the w girl, a voice for the man, and a voice for like the in-between chapters. In all the series, there are these like interviews or other voices that happen in between the Ch the chapters that come from the characters and so there are three narrators so there's Cynthia Holloway Jonathan McLean and Sarge Anton and all of them I thought did a great job what makes these narrators great was that a lot of times when you read a YA book it's narrated by an adult and the adult sounds like an adult and that bothers me I want if it's gonna be a teen that is the protagonist or the character I want it to sound at least like it could be a teenage voice I don't want it to sound like or like an older person reading it and I thought both of them did a good job of embodying a teen and I gave this four and a half stars it's not like perfect story but I really enjoyed listening to the audiobook it flew by really quick and then my next one number four is and then there were none by Agatha Christie and this was my first Agatha Christie book that I had ever read and I adored it and I think a lot of it was because of their narration. This one is narrated by Hugh Fraser and from what I can tell he has narrated a ton of her books and so I've continued listening to some of the other ones. So far this is still my favorite of the stories but like he, I could listen to him talk all day. Like he just really embodies that like older British mystery ambiance and I love it so I would highly recommend looking up the ones narrated by him I gave this story a four I think yeah four and a half stars so it was almost perfect the th reason Agatha Christie doesn't usually reach five stars for me is that they're basic mi they're mysteries and I really like her mysteries that I think they keep you guessing but she is very big on like doing the info dump at the end like she might not give as many clues along the way and then suddenly like bam we're gonna just tell you everything at the very end and that's not my favorite so that's why they usually don't get five stars but they're still entertaining the whole way through and this one is the classic like 10 people on an island they start dying off who's the killer my number three is Sadie by Courtney Summers and this is a newer release I think it just came out a couple months ago and I just finished listening to this like a few weeks ago and I really loved the experience of this. This was a five star audiobook experience, but the book had a few things missing in it. So the book itself, I, I narrated a little, or I rated a little bit lower. So altogether, I would put it as a 4.5 when you put together story and audiobook. But the audiobook is excellent and is the way to listen to the story. And the basic plot about this is that there are two sisters, Maddie and Sadie, and Maddie before the even story begins she is found dead and so the story takes place where Sadie has left home and is trying to find Maddie's killer and wants revenge and we're going back and forth between the perspective of Sadie and what's happening in her search for the killer and a podcast that is based off of missing girls and is talking about Maddie and Sadie as their first kind of season and focusing on that story of what happened to Maddie and where Sadie is because she nobody can find her as she's searching for the killer and I just thought because the podcast is such a prevalent part of the book doing it as an audiobook was the way to go and there's a full cast on this but the two main characters so that's like the one that narrates Sadie's chapters is Rebecca Soler which I told you she was coming back she was the one that did the Lunar Chronicles she narrates Sadie's chapters and then Fred Berman he narrates the podcast and I can't think of what the character's name is but he's the guy that does the podcast and then there are other voices that come in like when they do interviews they have other cast members when other characters show up in Sadie's chapters those characters and there's also background noise so if she's in a restaurant you'll hear restaurant noises like clinking of silverware stuff like that if there is a child in the background you would hear the child crying 
or making noises. So it really is a submersive experience. The other thing about this audiobook that makes it is the podcast feels like a real podcast. Like if you are somebody that re that listen sorry listens to the podcast like Serial or S Town or you know like true crime kind of podcasts, it feels so much like that where you are like getting interviews with family me members and friends trying to figure out what happened and all that and I think it is excellently done. So I would highly recommend this as an audiobook. And then my number two and my number one were really close. They're both five stars so I was having trouble like deciding which one was first but I just went by what was my like overall feeling at the end of the book. So number two is Ready Player One by Ernest Klein. And this one is narrated by Will Wheaton, who if you don't know, is an actor and was in a lot of movies and television shows back in the 80s and early 90s. And Ready Player One itself, the book, takes place, like a lot of the like, not takes place, it takes place in the future, but a lot of the content is like based on the 80s. And so it fit perfectly that he was the narrator. And this was a five star book for me, like the, list, the experience listening to it was excellent. This is all, about a kind of I don't know a game basically like a man who who created this whole like online world he passes away and in his um, will he says that whoever finds the Easter egg in his game that he has created gets to win all of his inheritance and so it's our main character who of course I can't remember what the main character's name is <laughs> he it is poor and needs money so he and he's been like spending a lot of time in this game he knows like everything about the 80s and is gonna go for the prize and so we have all that nostalgia from the 80s and having Will Wheaton narrate it is just excellent I just thought it was a fun ride it keeps you on your toes like things are happening all the time and like the characters were fun like the people that he ended up interacting were interesting so I just found it a great experience all together. If you're somebody that doesn't know a lot about the 80s and 90s or like doesn't really like video games, you might not find this as enjoyable, but this was a lot of my childhood that was in this book and it just was fast paced that it kept me going and I loved the experience. And then my number one audiobook of the year was As You Wish, Inconceivable Tales for the Making of Princess Bride by Carrie Elwes. And this is a nonfiction book that is basically him just talking, it's like a memoir about the making of the film, The Princess Bride, and he goes all the way from the very beginning from how it became a screenplay and started production, the casting process, he goes through all of the, like a lot of the backstage stuff, so we hear in detail about him learning the sword fighting, about the costumes and special effects, things like that. We get a lot of details about that behind the scenes stuff. He also talks about all of the characters and actors he worked with, which was great because a lot of them are people that I still like, you know, watch acting nowadays. And I really liked the glimpse into the behind the scenes making of this film. And this film is just a really special film. Like it's just one of those movies that stands the test of time. Like I've watched it recently and it's still great. Like it's, romantic, it's pirates, it's exciting, there's betrayal, there's humor, like it just has everything. And so listening to the audiobook was excellent. And part of what makes the audiobook so good in five stars was that it is narrated mainly by Carrie Elwes, like he is doing the main thing, but he has little clips in there from other actors and producers, directors and stuff from the movie. So I'll just tell you the names in case you are interested. These, all these voices appear on the audiobook. Carol Kane, Norman Lear, Rob Reiner, Chris Sar Sh Sarandon, Andy Scheinman, Wallace Shawn, and Robin Wright. So that's a lot of the actors, um, a couple of the producers, the director, and I just loved hearing all those voices because a lot of them are just great comedians and actors. And it was just fun. It was like revisiting the movie in the book. So that's why I bumped this up above Ready Player One because overall the experience was just great and I would probably listen to this again someday because listening to Carrie Elwes talk is just amazing. I loved it. 
So those are my seven favorite audiobooks of this year. If you have audiobooks that you really enjoy, because I'm always looking for an audiobook with a really great narrator, please put them down below and I will check them out in 2019. I hope you have a happy new year. Bye.